Hello guys, welcome back to another horror game with me, Games G. Uh, today we're going to play The Last Door, but uh, the full version it's just came out, so I'm looking quite forward to it. Headphones in dark environments are recommended. Mm, yes, if you say so. <laughs> we're just trying to that out a second. I'm trying my best. Uh, accessibility options. While playing, press 1, enable disable dyslexia friendly font. Press 2, enable to enable descriptions of sounds. 3, full screen mode. And 4, pick up your mouse, or you can't play the game. Because that's how I roll. Okay, so click to continue. Don't do this to me, headphones. Come on. After all the things I've seen. Click. Ah. You're an old man. Oh, I just picked up a rope. Oh no, you're not gonna kill yourself. That's four things I've done. No, you're not gonna do it. Please don't do it. You know, we've been so close. My life is on a course that I can't escape from. It's too late for me now. It's never too late! Don't do it. Don't get up there, man. I just hope you could forgive me someday. No. <laughs> Don't make me cry. You're sincere. Anthony Beechworth. Now we know those. You know, it's very pixelated, but it's, it actually it's very well involved. You know, they, look, they put a lot of heart and soul into this. Uh, so about clothes. The dead. Hosted by Karma Free, made in Spain? Golden Gravestones? So our 285th backers for making this possible. Thank you very much! October 1891. Betete, uh, me not speak this language, uh, that's the only thing my dear old friend Anthony Beachworth wrote in his letter. It had been many years since I last heard that sentence. It used to be the motto of the science and philosophy group that we secretly ran back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. We left it all behind, like simple ch childhood memories. But it was unusual. That letter could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex to the dress on the letter. And there it was, the old home of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Mansion. So beautiful. So homey. Chapter 1, the letter. Okay, so if we go towards a lens, for what, maybe? This is weird. Everything is silent. Like, there's no one living here. I don't worry about Anthony. I have to find him. Oh, this is so much better than the, the beta test one. A note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechworth, Due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us and, much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years at your service. God bless you. Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. Well, the portrait of Anthony, who looks older than I expected. Mm. I, I don't like it when it's like dark. This side. It won't open. Why? It's too dark. I can't go any further. I don't blame you, kid. I don't blame you one bit. The grandfather clock. 
It's the only sound around here. And that music in the background. And the wind. See, it's not the only sound. Wow. A gramophone. It looks rusty. A stuffed deer head. Nice. Okay, right. A fireplace. Looks like it hasn't been cleaned in a long time. That large window is wide open, letting the cold dusk air in. Then close it! A landscape painting. A landscape painting! Let's go check in here. The kitchen stoves and a cleaning cloth. A plate with some days old leftovers. Yummy! Plates and pans. All the usual stuff you'd find in the kitchen. I unlocked the door. How? <gasps> no! A murder of crows is eagerly eating something. They're too vicious. Getting close could be dangerous. Don't do it. Oh, okay. That's quite gruesome. It's just rubbish. Oh, you can actually get there faster. That's pretty cool. Not gonna work. A crooked painting. An escape painting. Some toiletries. Okay. A lamp. It would come in handy. Just get it! March 5th, 1891. Master made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I found a place to hide my rosary. I can't pray everything night without it. May 18th, 1891. Master has been complaining about Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I can't let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about the master. He's growing more and more unlike himself every day. Mr. Beechworth is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. I would be. An empty bowl, like the ones used to feed a pet. Okay, what was in there again? There's nothing of interest in these drawers again. That explains. Oh, yeah, what was down here? It's padlocked. Impossible. Okay, let's go towards that dark place. I'm guessing that's why we've got a unlit lamp. I'm glad they uh, fast forward the. Uh, you know. Can I get out my lamp, please? Can I get out my lamp, please? I want my lamp. Please? I don't think you understand how important it is to me. It won't open! Well... My coat. How... How peculiar! Drinking a uh, drinks cabinet of glasses, some crystal bottles, and a matchbox. Take the matches. Only these matches could be useful. Now, let's light. Oh yeah, we did it. We did it. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, we did it. We can go further. <gasps> some wooden planks have been nailed to this doorway. Who would have thought? Where's the paintings all gone? Maybe they were eaten. Oh, how, how lovely. A silver key. Let's pick that up. Thank you. A gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. The fireplace hasn't been used for a long time. No sirree. What's this? 
family portraits. Can we have a look at them? No, you just decided to walk all the way over there. Why not? Let's continue forward. It's locked with a key. A slate record titled The Carnival of Venice. Can we pick it up? Some firewood. An iron crowbar. Can we take the crowbar? For the planks. The boiler looks like it's been out of use for a long time. The cement is still fresh in this. Oh, what? I guess you can't use the crowbar on it. I can't break down the wall with this. No, okay, stab. Because this is freaky in here. Let's go. Oh, okay. That's that's. I was expecting, you know, a lot to happen. So if we put this record, now there's a record on the ground. God's sakes, what happened here? It looks like it's a letter. Dear Margaret, it's been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse at night. <clears throat> Our servants left a few days ago without their help and care. I'm lost. I can barely walk out of bed. Not even the doctor would come here after his argument with Anthony. He has developed his this horrible ability to break anyone's will. I don't know what to do. I don't have any strength left. I wish I could send you this letter, your dear friend. Is that someone laying? A letter in a, f a feeble handwriting. I can't go on. All is lost. It's a diary page. I can't stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think I'm not worthy of this family. Who are they? But what's dust and bones? A memory. Leave me. I don't need you. Leave me! Oops. I, I don't want to go to that body. A lifeless body of a woman. It's been here for a few days. Looks like she's clutching a note in her hand. I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts, my last lines, my last breath. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm meant to be doing a girl's voice. 
I don't know what kind of dark powers has turned my husband into what he is now. A stranger? The look bear What? Bereft. Bereft of all sanity, compassion, and human warmth. I don't know that shadow that slowly darkens our lives. <coughs> I don't know this foreign host that now dwell in our souls. I don't know where it's from, but I'm sure it is not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon, I will stop trembling. Best woman voice cover ever. Voice cover. A hairpin! That'll come in handy. Don't know what for, but yeah. An old wheelchair. Nothing of interest in this chest. Ah, I don't want to go in there. A woman holding a baby. She looks happy. An old, severe looking man. His gaze unsettling me. A teenage girl. She has a sad face. Uh, a young man, one of Anthony's relatives. Don't go towards it. Crazy. A portrait of Anthony with a, s a stuffed lynx. It looks like he's very proud of his valued animal. The paint looks fresher around the lynx's head. An adult woman, she looks really pale. video should be something very scary. Yeah, I can't wait to play. Uh, it's a lot like uh, Hell's Resort. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Hell's Resort. Um, but I think it's going to be more scary. I've never played it before. I've literally one more minute until it's downloaded and then it'll be done. But yeah, um, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit me a like, please comment, please share. 